This is N2LEN with another quick video clip. This is the LCD display from the ICOM 775 DSP. This radio is known for a display flickering issue, which um, it's documented online. Uh, you turn the radio on and the backlight just uh, flickers. Sometimes it, it goes off, it comes on, sometimes it stays on. Uh, there was some documentation posted on the net about the second secondary winding uh, from the transformer that feeds the CFL. But anyway, there is a kit out by this company called X-Line. They make an LED replacement kit, which is basically an LED strip that goes across um, the actual PC board that supports the actual uh, LCD display. Uh, part of the modification is you have to go in there and you literally have to uh, desolder all these pins. Now, this is just a test display. Um, this was a, re a replacement display. This one uh, actually broke. And the display that I'm actually going to be doing the mod to is actually still in the radio, but I wanted to test my vacuum sucker. I'm using an MBT. Uh, this is a pretty popular sensor tip. And uh, as you can see, this is the actual uh, tip that I am using on my deep, my vacuum tool. Um, and uh, it actually took about only, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 minutes to do the job. Uh, you could see all of the holes. I don't know if it's 64 pin, how many pins. But there wasn't, uh, when I completed the desolder, uh, vacuum soldering, uh, the the actual LCD just fell right out. There wasn't one single pin that uh, was stuck in the PC board. So it was pretty, pretty clean removal. Um, a little overwhelming to start. And uh, I, I guess I have a spare board uh, that I could use if, uh, God forbid, I make a mistake or something happens on the one that I'm actually going to do tomorrow that's in the radio. I can't use this display because it's cracked. The uh, actual display that's in the radio I purchased on eBay used. Um, and that's basically it. So uh, this is the beginning of the mod. And we'll make another video uh, tomorrow of the entire completed modification. Uh, like I said, this was just a donor board. And I wanted to see if I was able to remove all these pins on the LCD. What a job. Pretty easy though, when you have the right tools, I guess. This is N2LEN, and we're clear.